So by the title of the video, you can tell I have a little sickling here with me. You guys know I got over the flu last week and now Jordan, I think, has caught a slight case of it and she is sick too. So today I'm going to be walking you through our basically viral at-home remedies for when we're sick or have common colds. And I like to do the um, Motrin Tylenol split, which is if you have a fever that just won't break, you do Tylenol, and then in four hours you do Motrin, and then you do Tylenol in four hours, and then in four hours you do Motrin. This way you don't have to wait the full six to seven hours and let the fever completely catch on and take over, but you have to do the split on and off alternating, otherwise um, you will damage the liver and kidneys. So I always start with that to kind of offset any body aches and pains, and then also so to hurry up and lessen that fever. And then from there, I like to go right into bathing them. And just to kind of set the tone in here, I'm setting up some eucalyptus in my oil diffuser. I also really enjoy using peppermint, but I'm all out. Um, if you're not having like any chest cold and you just kind of want to keep the area calm, I also recommend using lavender. The best at home remedy to comfort your child with any type of congestion or lung issues going on is definitely going to be a room filled hot bath. Um, one way that I like to do this and not waste water is I like to just run the hot bath, um, but the shower does create the steam so you can pull the plug up for your bath and just run regular um, temperature water that you want to use for your child and it'll still make the room humid enough to help them but it won't be scolding water and then you don't have to waste and I also like to add Epsom salt into the water because this helps to detoxify the body also it just soothes aches and pains a lot especially contributing from like the flu and common cold so that really helps and it also increases white blood cell count so that's really good to help fight cold and flu and as far as food goes, my kids really don't like to eat when they're sick at all, but these are just some things I like to keep on hand for them. Um, the biggest thing, especially if you're having some type of throwing up or diarrhea, is just keeping the electrolytes up. You can do that here with Propel water. Also, Mio makes a uh, squirt water electrolyte squirter and you could also use Pedialyte, popsicles, anything like that. I also always try to keep popsicles on hand, especially in the winter months, just in case somebody has a sore throat or something arises like this where we need a lot of popsicles just to keep them hydrated and some sugar in their system so that they have enough energy to at least, you know, stay awake. <laughs> Now a quick tip, and this is something that my mom did when I was younger that I always enjoyed, is when you're getting out of the bathtub, um, get them a really hot towel from the dryer. So this will really help them feel comforted and you know, just taken care of when they're just feeling yucky. So I went ahead and I just brushed her hair in the shower and then I took her really warm bath towels from the dryer to wrap her in. Also, if you have girls, I really love using these little Dollar Tree head wraps for their hair. It really helps that they can keep this on their head and, you know, really get all that water out of their hair. And they don't have to sit and be blow dried and stuff. Ooh, you feeling cozy? Is that warm, blanky? Warm towel? Ready? Come on. Come on. The other side again. Good. You gonna get dressed? You can also do the dryer trick to keep the clothes warm after their bath, but you know, I just like to put on fresh clothes after their bath as well. Also after the bath while they're in there soaking, make sure you do wash them because germs do shed and you know with the detoxifying process you want to make sure they're clean too even if they're taking lots of baths. Next up I'm just rubbing a little bit of this Vix Vapor Rub on her feet and putting on some cotton socks and I am going to put a little bit on her chest.
I think fevers are the thing that scare us the most when we have to take care of sick kids. So it's always nice when they're up and they're not like glued to their pillow and they're feeling well enough to sit up and interact with you because then it's not so scary and they're just so sweet. <laughs> it sounds like it farted, huh? Oh my gosh. <laughs> if your kids really won't eat anything, I will have our favorite at home smoothie recipe listed in my description box if you want to try that out to give it a go. <laughs> Is it yummy? Something I always do anytime they have a common cold, a cough, or anything that they just need to be comforted by, I always make them a really warm cup of tea. I do put regular sugar in there and make it really sweet so that way I can ensure that they're drinking liquids. It still contains a lot of water and they will drink it. Um, even if it has the sugar in it, it's important that they're just staying hydrated and um, you know, like the throat area staying lubricated. Another remedy like warm liquids to help combat like chills and just discomfort is using a heating pad. Um, with smaller children you'll need to sit with them and use it on a low setting but having a heating pad helps a lot or like a heated blanket or even rice bags help to um, you know just let them get comfortable and allow them to rest and fall asleep. A few other useful tips for dealing with flu specifically is utilizing like Dollar Tree cleaning buckets to have for like throw up bins and also using hospital bed pee pads which are like, um, I've been using these since my kids were really small for potty training but they're like hospital grade and they're reusable and rewashable, they're only like 15 bucks a piece and you can put them like at the head of the bed or the couch to help protect the area. And you could also put pillows inside of trash bags and then put pillow covers on top to help lessen the chance of your child throwing up on your pillow, which will make cleanup a lot easier on your part. And also placing microfiber and fleece blankets around makes cleanup easier too because Stuffy they don't sleep. stain. Mom. Mom, do like the boy stuff. Huh? Like the um, picture, like the thing that Stacy has. Oh, on Snapchat? Yeah, do it. Do Snapchat. Okay. Right. <laughs> Spooky. I don't like my eyes. <laughs> no, keep it there. It is. Every day I try to just kind of disinfect the toothbrushes and kind of try to keep them separate from one another so everything's not getting contaminated. Also when it comes to disinfecting I also recommend washing your linens and your pillowcases. Use your own discretion for that but at least during and after make sure you're washing those things. I hope you guys got a lot of useful tips and you enjoyed our sick day routine and like our flu and at home cold remedies. If you did, please give this video a like and don't forget to give lots of snuggles and I'll see you guys later.